In this tutorial we'll download data from the web. So we'll start with uh, the Python editor, create some file, uh, call it grep.py. Then we, we there's two ways we can actually download. So the most silly and obvious way would be to import your host module and, uh, and execute some system command to download the website uh, data. And so, but uh, the traditional way or the better way, if you will, is to use the URL model, module. Then uh, we get uh, the data from the from the web link, from the URL, like this, if you recall. And in there, we can put any website that we want. For example, uh, we we could. Uh, get text from uh, from slash dot and we, we print that and it will download the file using the HTTP protocol so it will download the content from this link um, in this case uh, let's put a 2 here There you see we are getting data from that uh, link, but uh, we're not using web browser, so this doesn't mean anything to the to the terminal. Then uh, we can take uh, any uh, image link. Um, so just a sec. some image link and let's download an image so a .png image this is a just a URL I copied with the web browser then uh, wouldn't make sense to directly print it but we want to download this file which is just a, a random file from the web if you uh, if you will so just a random image from the web then we want to download that file to the disk so now we have the, the data but uh, we have to write it so we can open a file for writing and say we save it as uh, python.png and we want to write uh, make a file object We write that uh, the data, the response, and we close the object. Now the image is not here, and once we start it, we'll have the image uh, downloaded, and that image is just the image we just downloaded. So it has a transparent background, so as you see here. But it's the image that we just got from the web. So I'll just have a look at the code again. It's pretty few lines of code to, to actually download a file from the web. And of course you could also take any text file and save it as a text file or any file that's according to the HTTP protocol.